You guessed it. It's mail time. I finally opened my P.O. box and went to go check it. You guys have already flooded it in just two weeks. Today I was planning on filming a different video, but as you could tell, I'm a little under the weather. I have my tea here to help me get through this video. It's green tea with Manuka honey, if you guys are wondering. And most importantly, I have my surgery scalpel to open up all these letters. What? All right, first letter. Bear, if this doesn't have anthrax, speak. I've never opened a letter with a scalpel. Ooh, it feels so smooth though. <gasps> Something fell out. It's my logo. Oh, it's a magnet. It's like what I wear on my scrubs, guys. Dear Dr. Mike, I hope this letter finds you in good health. My name is Libby. I love your videos on YouTube so much. Thank you, Libby. I've actually thought about becoming a doctor because of you. Your videos just put a smile on my face and I got interested in medical stuff. I find all of it so fascinating and I hope that one day I can help people like you help me and your patients. Can you please make more videos about Bear? Bear. Look, Libby wrote you this letter. Can I finish? Libby wrote you this letter and she wants to see more videos of you. Dear Dr. Mike, thank you for being a light in dark times and a true inspiration. I love and support you, Emmanuel. Keep in touch with Craig and Erica. I don't know who Craig and Erica are. You sent me a stethoscope. I don't want to open it because I have so many stethoscopes, but this is so nice. And you got me a purple one? Emmanuel, why are you spending money on me? Stop. Is it bad if I... Give this to someone who actually needs a stethoscope and can't afford their own. Let's get this to somebody who actually needs a stethoscope and doesn't have one. I've worked with nurses who were just entering training. I've worked with doctors in residency who couldn't afford a nice stethoscope like this. So maybe I'll give this to somebody and record that interaction so you can see that your stethoscope went to good use. Thank you so much, Emmanuel. This one doesn't have a name on it, just has an address. And it, it's not even addressed to me, it's addressed to P.O. You can write my name on the address. By the way, don't ask why I have a scalpel at home. I like to do minor surgical procedures at home sometimes. Your knowledge on human health has taught me so much. I love your passion for helping people live happy and healthier lives. It's been a tough year for me because I've struggled with anxiety and depression, but watching your videos really warms my heart. Can you read this on video? Emmanuel, I did read this on video. Hold on a second. This is the same Emmanuel. Emmanuel, you also sent me the stethoscope. Good luck on your everyday struggles. Stay happy, stay healthy, but know that it's okay to be sad sometimes as long as you get back to baseline. All right, this is from Alyssa. Hello, my name is Alyssa. I'm 20 and currently going into the medical field to become an RN. I recently watched your YouTube video on your reaction of Grey's Anatomy, which used to be my favorite show, and it just excites me and pushes me to try harder and not give up. Alyssa, this is an adorable letter. I get a lot of compliments in the YouTube comment section. It does feel great to get those, but to get something like this that's very personal and handwritten, and you know, this picture of you and your grandpa, that means a lot, so thank you. No person's name on this and no name for me. Also, I feel like this envelope has been through a lot. It just looks stressed out. Like, I feel like it was carried here by a pigeon carrier. And there's like this cute little barn swallow. For those of you who don't know what a barn swallow is, it's this bird. I don't know that it's this bird, but it says barn swallow on the bottom. And I think it's a funny name for a bird to be called barn swallow. I'll say it again, barn swallow. Dear Dr. Mike, don't open gifts for me on camera, LOL. That's it? What kind of letter is this? The handwriting looks eerie similar. Oh my God, it's her. It's Emmanuel. She sent three letters already. I hope you're sending this as a joke because you wrote LOL. I'm taking this as a joke because I am opening your gifts on camera. There's another one from Emmanuel. Here I thought I had a lot of fans, but apparently Emmanuel is the only one that watches my videos. Emmanuel, where do you get so many envelopes from? And I should have known. You're the only person sending barn swallows. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. P.S. Love your video, stay happy and healthy. Hashtag world's greatest doctor. Yeah, Christ love. Hey, Dr. Mike, my name is Alyssa. I'm a college student. I love watching your videos during my study breaks. Thanks for radiating so much positivity and making so many people happy, including myself. Love, Alyssa. You wrote B whoop. It's B whoop. B whoop. It's a P. Well, this is really cute. I will hang this up on my fridge, like a proud dad. Tea break. I have been talking to someone claiming to be you for a few months now. I'm just simply wondering if it's truly you who is making me the happiest woman on earth. Molly, unfortunately, this has been happening to many people. There's a lot of imposters out there, both on dating sites, on Instagram, on Facebook. I try and every week search my name 
and report these imposters because I'm a verified account. Instagram and Facebook expedites taking them down. I, I guess the easiest way to sum this up is it's not me. Any account that doesn't have the blue verified check mark on it is not me. I only have one account on each platform, no personal accounts. So whoever you're talking to, please report them. Don't even bother continuing talking to them or giving them shame because it's only gonna feed into their ego and make them wanna do it more often. So just block them, move on, and I'm sorry you've been taken advantage of. Dear Dr. Mike, first of all, I absolutely love the content you produce. Your channel is incredibly entertaining and informative to watch. Is there a possibility you'll ever address diseases such as ALS? The reason I ask is because I know a person who has ALS, and I'd really like for as many people as possible to be aware of it. I've included a sticker that was inspired by the person I mentioned with ALS. He is on Twitter under the username DogBomb1. These stickers are being sold in limited runs as a fundraiser for ALS research in DogBomb's name. Thanks for sending this, Travis. Thanks for this adorable sticker of a dog riding a bomb. I would like to make a video on ALS. You know what, I'm gonna check out DogBomb's Twitter right now. ALS can kiss my fuzzy butt. There is no known cause, no treatment, and no hope unless you help, if you're able, toss in a couple of bucks to beat ALS. All right, I'm gonna make a little donation right now. Travis, because of you, I just donated 100 bucks to the ALS Association. Deanna from Missouri. MI is Missouri, right? I'm working on my states. Wait, what's Mississippi? Dr. Mike, first off, I wanna thank you for existing. Aww. I always learn something when I watch your videos and I try to apply it to my own life. I become healthier because of that, so thank you. Deanna, thank you for sending me this. The fact that I'm living, I'm helping you live a healthier life is really important to me. Anna from Pennsylvania. Oh, she has like the little finger emojis on, on the thing to show me where to open it. You always look super duper cute in your videos and I'm never eating an apple again, get it? I get it. Well, anyways, keep being amazing. Also, it would mean the world if you respond to my letter. And I'm responding to your letter and awesome drawing right now. This is really cute. I'm gonna put this on my desk. Okay, we have Sarah from Florida. I live in Florida, home to Old Fart Street. Bingo, just kidding. My dad is a retired pathologist, fun fact. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, my name is blah, blah, blah. But to be honest, I never post on there. Enjoy your gift card, Sarah. Wish we could be hanging out together. There's a picture of a bat. Get the pun? Stupid, I know, lol. Got your P.O. box off your Insta story. I've never watched your YouTube channel, but think you're adorable. I am way too old for you. I don't, I don't get it. Sarah, can you at least check out my <laughs> YouTube videos? Lori from New Jersey, local, yay. Let's check it out. Wow, this is really accurate. And you have my hospital name written there. Hey, Dr. Mike, I just wanted to say how much I love your channel. Say hi to your dogs for me from Lori. Where did you go to medical school? Also, how did you know you wanted to become a doctor? I hope you have a wonderful day. Well, Lori, thanks for this awesome photo. I went to New York Institute of Technology, College of Osteopathic Medicine. I know that's a mouthful. I did one of those seven year accelerated programs where I did three years of undergraduate studies in NYIT and then instantly moved on to the medical training portion of the program. The reason I wanted to become a doctor was because I got to witness my dad going through medical school for a second time in his life when we came to the United States from Russia, watching him go through medical school, then residency, and then develop a relationship with his patients, I fell in love. But it also fit my skill set. I was really good at science, I was really curious, and I feel like those match up very well with the medical field. Kelsey, Massachusetts. Patriots suck, by the way. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Tom Brady kisses his son on the mouth. That's just awkward. He does it for a long period of time. Dear Dr. Mike, greetings from the Boston area. My name is Kelsey, and I just wanted to start off by letting you know how much I love your channel. I get very excited for Sunday morning and now Wednesday night, too. Do you enjoy going to sporting events? Baseball is my favorite. Go White Sox. What? You're from Boston. I'm not a huge fan of any team in particular. I was a huge Bulls fan when George was around, then I became a huge Lakers fan when Kobe was around, and right now, I'm kind of just hoping that the Knicks will get some kind of decent player so I can watch them, because I live like 10 blocks away from Madison Square Garden. It's another big one, I'm excited, I like the big ones. Natasha from Pennsylvania. Ooh, what? This is so adorable. Look, it's my logo. Oh, you have an Etsy. Oh, this is so awesome. God, Natasha, thank you so much for all of this. This is amazing. I'm gonna put this up in my house for sure. All right, this says, do not bend in very big letters. Mia drew a little EKG strip here for me. I'm constantly learning every time I watch you. You seem like an awesome guy and I wanted to say thank you for being you. This is so awesome. And you painted this on October 7th. 
Good job, Mia. I'm so grateful that you guys send me all these letters, write in my comments section all the time. You support me by watching my videos. That really does fuel me and give me motivation to continue making content, making better content, because you know, time is limited. You have my PO Box address. Keep sending me letters, keep sending me funny stuff. I'll be doing these videos every now and then to show the world what kind of stuff you guys have been sending me. I shouldn't be saying this because I'm a little sick right now, but as always, stay happy and healthy. Bear, is he chewing on the chair? Bark if it doesn't have anthrax. Bear, speak. No, speak. No, speak. No, why are you punching me? <laughs> Oof.